everyone, it's Lisa here at Artist Free, and today I'm going to show you how to customize our poly canvas zip case with any designs you create with iron-on ink and accessories. I'm going to make a zip case to hold my cell phone and all the supplies that go with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my copy paper and I'm going to trace my zip case so that I know what size of the space I'm working with. So next, I'm going to take the font that I printed out that says Cell Supplies, and I'm going to place it on my light box. And you'll want to remember to place it backwards because you're making a mirrored image. I'm going to start by tracing with my black iron-on ink marker. I love these markers because they come in three different sizes. You can get fine point, chisel tip, or round point, so they're great for small details or for coloring in large areas. So don't worry if you don't have a light box. You can also hold it up to a window or you can use your electronic cutting machine to print out your mirrored font. So you have a lot of options when it comes to creating these zip cases. So now that I've traced the outline, I'm going to color it in with my blue iron-on ink marker. And these come in a chiseled tip, so you can use the fine point for coloring in details, and you can also use the other side for larger spaces that you need to fill in. So here's one that I created earlier, and I'm going to work with this one to create my zip bag. So the first thing I want to do is lay this flat and place my canvas zip bag on top of it. And then I'm going to tape it down with my heat tape. The great thing about this heat tape is that it can withstand up to 400 degrees and it won't melt against your project. Now, since I'm using a heat press, I don't need a lot of tape, but if you're using a regular iron, you'll want to use more to keep it from slipping and creating a ghost image. Okay, so now we're ready for our sublimation sandwich. So you want to flip it over and have the image on top. Then take your protective paper, place one sheet on the bottom, one sheet on top, and you're ready for the heat press. You'll want to remember to have your zipper off the heat press. I'm hanging mine over the side like so. And you're going to want to heat it for 45 seconds. Don't forget to use your protective mat because this is going to be very hot and you don't want to damage your work surface. I also have these protective gloves, but if you don't have protective gloves, you can use an oven mitt or a pot holder. But you'll want to use something because it'll be very hot. So my heat press just beeped to tell me that it's ready. And we will pull this out, place it on our protective mat. And I know you want to see what it looks like right away, but you're going to have to let it cool for a couple minutes. This is going to be very, very hot. So now we're ready for the big reveal. This is my favorite part because I get to see how the ink was transformed through the sublimation process. Wow, look at that color. It looks so amazing. This is going to look so great and the color is really popping. I'm so excited to be able to use this for my cell supplies. It's really fun. It's going to be perfect. These are so great for so many things. You can use them for a gift bag for Mother's Day or other holidays, a makeup bag, or even a bag for your next vacation. They're also perfect when you want to throw a themed party like a birthday party or a girls weekend. So how easy was that? I hope you were feeling inspired to get started with Iron On Ink. If you want to know more about Iron On Ink, check out all the handy tutorial videos on our website or search Artist Free on YouTube. If you have any more questions, check out the FAQs on the website or contact us at artistfree.com. I also hope you'll share your projects with hashtag Artist Free and hashtag Iron On Ink on social media. We love seeing how you use our products and we'd love to share your creations too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here at Artist Free.